Hey you guys, Janine here, and today we're going to be talking about whether or not you should pay off your student loans with your line of credit or access to another type of credit facility. So there are a couple things that you need to take note of when you are looking at paying off your student loans faster than you would normally, and that is what type of credit facility you have access to. Many people get access to lines of credits or loans from financial institutions, and so they might be looking at whether or not they should use this to wipe out their student debt. The first thing that you need to take a look at is the interest rate of both of these credit facilities. The Government of Canada and whatever province your student loans are from typically offer a fairly low interest rate, and so you'll need to compare this to the interest rate you'd be getting from a loan from a financial institution or perhaps you have access to a graduate line of credit. And in this case, sometimes the interest rate can actually be lower. When you are in this situation, such as maybe med school or law school, you might want to pay off your student loans from your undergrad with your line of credit for your graduate program. Now, there are a couple other things that we need to take a look at before we can actually make that decision. One of the things that you need to take a look at is the repayment terms of all of your credit facilities. If you do have a student line of credit, that line of credit may require you to actually pay interest while you are racking up charges on that line of credit. So if you pay off your student loan with that line of credit, you may just be deferring the interest to a different credit facility for the period when you still are in school. And if you are still in school, many times the government will actually allow you to defer that interest until you have completely graduated. When you're comparing this to a traditional loan, you may have more cumbersome loan repayment schedules with a financial institution than you would with the Government of Canada, so you'll need to weigh the pros and cons of both. Now the last thing that you want to look at is the tax deductibility of the interest. Now your student loans, whether they're from a provincial body or if they are from the Canadian government, the interest on those loans that you pay every year can actually be deducted on your tax return on a yearly basis. When it comes to other credit facilities, typically you can't deduct that interest on your tax return. So you're actually getting a benefit from paying the interest on your student loans from a, a Canadian student loan or Alberta student loan perspective. Whereas if you look at other credit facilities, you may not be able to deduct that interest. The only case where you can deduct that interest is in the case where you're using a loan or a line of credit to actually invest and generate income. So a business a loan or investing in the stock market or maybe even a rental property. So when it comes down to it at the end of the day, usually it doesn't make sense for students to pay off their student loans with a different type of credit facility, whether that be a line of credit or a loan from a financial institution because of the lower interest rates, the flexibility when it comes to repayment, and ultimately that tax deduction that you don't otherwise get with a different type of credit facility. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions regarding paying off student loans or lines of credit, please leave a comment in the comment section below.